Hi guys, Operator 7 here, bringing you the video review of the Leilax First Factory SIG MCX Barrel Support. So this is this little piece that uh, kind of resolves an issue that's quite common on most MCX um, VFC FCX uh, rifles, which is basically, as you can see here on my tan one, which is quite a recent one, the, the barrel just wobbles too much see and so this this is a common issue really uh, and some you can tighten the uh, let me take up the uh, the handguard so you can tighten these as much as you want um, however after a while they will even it will eventually give and you it will it will continue it will start to wobble as you can see let me let me hold the gun in place there is quite definitely quite a bit of wobble, so you can tighten it as much as you want. Um, if you over tighten it, it, what will happen is, eventually at some point, uh, the uh, yeah the these the threads on these uh, screws will will basically uh, get damaged, and you won't be able to tighten them anymore. So Lelax very well came out with this solution. I mean, it is very sturdy. It's actually. Uh, very very quite heavy um, and it, it does work quite well as you can see it comes already with two screws two small screws and you'll need the original screws as well because otherwise you won't be able to to tighten this uh, but yeah again it does secure the barrel a lot better than the original part does and the installation is fa fairly straightforward basically you just remove the original ones And it's quite easy to take out, the, just unscrew them. It's fairly easy to install. Now, of course you have to push the barrel in a little bit because it does help the, the, the spring that's in there to get it in place. So yeah, so these two plates here, these are the big issue. But no, the airsoft version is just awful. And what you need to do is you need to replace them with these other two plates, which as you can see, size-wise, they're far bigger and far heavier as well. So this will, uh, I need to double check how much it weighs, uh, but it, it is fairly, at least double, double the weight and very, very, very sturdy. So they made this quite well. Um, yeah, so it fits there just nicely. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, very well built. Just gonna put the other one in. Right, let me turn this around. So once it's in, you just do this bit. And again, as you can see, it fits there really nicely. Turn it around once more. And then I'm going to start screwing this. Right. So this is the first step. What you want to do, and I probably won't be able to do it here on camera, is you want to make sure that that barrel sits in and it's pushed all the way in, right? So it it, it sits right and the hop up unit is straight and you want to tighten quite well. So as you can see immediately, there's still a slight um, wobble, but it's significantly well reduced and now what you want to do is you want to screw the other two front screws for that you'll need a different different uh, hex key as well hex key and then there you go once it's done you'll achieve the best barrel support that you can get on this gun now unfortunately there's nothing out there in the market other than this solution to correct this factory issue, as you can see, it just doesn't budge right now. So it's a really, really good solution. It works great. You can fit the original um, handguard very well. So if I can do it properly, there you go. Right, that fits nicely. Right, but however, there are some aftermarket handguards, such as the Gen 3 from Airsoft Artisan, which, this bit here 
this slip here will not allow you to get it all the way in. So as I start sliding it, right, it stops there. There's nothing I can do about it. See, it will not go in because of this slip. So unfortunately, even though it's a great tool, it is not compatible with some aftermarket handguards. So you need to be aware of this. Uh, plus it's a little bit pricey. Uh, here in the UK, it costs about um, 50, it's about 57 pounds from fire support. Um, and so it's a little bit pricey. However, as you can see with the stock handguard, it does do the job that you will avoid stripping your uh, screws. You will have most certainly a lot more barrel stability when you're playing uh, and for sure it will be, uh, it will give you, you know, a better, you know, accuracy as well. Uh, and for sure you won't have the barrel wobble that you used to have before. But again, you're kind of stuck at least on some handguards and mostly the, the original handguard that comes with the VSC Virtus. And I haven't tried it on the Legacy, but I would say it would fit on, on the, on, on, on the, it does fit on the Virtus for sure. I will give it a go on the Legacy as well uh, and let you know. Right guys, thank you for watching. Opera 7 out. So before you leave, I just wanted to show you what's the real issue. It's actually not the, um, not the screws. It's actually this, this plate here, as you can see. Uh, if you over tighten them, they strip really easy. This is really poor quality. I just wish the VFC would see this and they would do something about it. Um, yeah, not cool. Um, so yeah, also, now that you're here, that I have it here. So I've got a legacy here, VFC legacy, MCX legacy. And so we'll try to fit it in the legacy as well. So again, on camera, it's gonna be a little bit tough. But we'll give it a go. Right. Anyway. Right. As you can see, it's also a really good fit. Now, I do not have for this one in particular the original um, VFC, uh, sorry, the Legacy uh, handguard, the short one. So I'm going to try with another aftermarket handguard. I've not tried this before, so it's going to be the first time that I'll, I'm going to try this. Let me see if I can find the right tool. It's right here. Nope, actually. Just find the right tool to. It's right here. To get this in place. So I'm going to screw all four. Bear with me. Right. You can feel immediately how, how well it, this fits. I mean, great job, Lilax. Just wish you'd come up with a revised version that would give a little bit more aftermarket compatibility. But again, I think this is what really happens. So this extends a bit further out, and then it just, um, uh, yeah, it just gets caught on the lip, at least on my Gen 3 one. Yeah, hopefully then eventually they work out with, <laughs> that would be nice, with uh, Airsoft Artisan to get you know a solution in place that works on all barrels but yeah once more this one absolutely no wobble no wobble at all i mean it's just really really good now let's check with the another airsoft artisan uh, handguard let's see if it works and as you can see with this one it does work so no problems there really nice uh, fit it does go all the way in, as you can see, and just happy about that, really. So, I mean, it will have to check um, prior which handguard might or might not fit. So, as you can see, this one in particular, and I'll leave the, the link in the description for this one in particular. This is the suppressor uh, one uh, from Airsoft, Airsoft Artisan. It comes with the suppressor as well and an inner barrel. Um, but, yeah. Really good, um, really good tool. Just unfortunately, it's a bit uh, compatibility can be a little bit uh, sketchy on some handguards. Thanks for watching, guys.